My name is Philippe Rocher, I'm the export director for Chartreuse. I just flew in today from France to visit this beautiful market. First time ever in Detroit for me. Chartreuse is a beautiful liqueur, is, uh, as you may know, is probably uh, made by, by monks since uh, 1605 in the southeast of France. Only two monks know the complete formula, you know, the only two monks are involved in the production, so they receive the herbs inside the monastery like they used to have, they used to do in the, the last 400 years. So they basically receive all the herbs into the monastery, do the blending, put then the bags back, go to the distillery and start all maceration process, distillation process and the aging process. Quite iconic liqueur today, used in the, by the Barton community across US. The community of bartenders uh, love the complexity of this liqueur, the strength, the color, completely natural, organic, Obviously, first ever organic liqueur made by monks. No coloring, no additives go into Chartreuse liqueurs. The fact is uh, quite unique. It's quite small, like a boutique. It has been used on a regular basis by the mixologists and beloved by many mixologists around the States. So we got different products. The first product ever made by monks was the Elixir Vegetal, where so the essence of Chartreuse was a medicinal pr purpose in 1605. Uh, the recipe was completed in 1737 by the father Jean Moubec in the pharmacy de la Grande Chartreuse. It's called the Elixir Végétal, was the essence of Chartreuse at the very beginning. And after they uh, developed uh, different liqueurs, the health liqueur called the Green Chartreuse in 1764 and the Yellow Chartreuse in 1838, called the Queen of the Liqueur at the time. So you used 130 herbs, different proportion though. Uh, eight minimum three years in the oak vats and the way you can use in different cocktails and also enjoy as a drink, as a digestive at the end of the meal on the rocks, which is beautiful. And obviously you have, you have also on the market the VEP, like the uh, aging uh, liqueur, uh, like stands for very old aging process, VEP, uh, which is a basically a green chartreuse or yellow chartreuse aged longer in smaller vats. When uh, regular chartreuse age minimum three years in oak vats of 10,000 years. The green and yellow VEP age longer, like 10, 12, 15 years, maybe more. And uh, in the smaller vats, we call it demi mi which is oak vats of 500 liters. As you may know, the iconic drink created in Detroit called the Last Word was uh, thanks to the cocktail, this cocktail, uh, Mr. Murray Stenson in Seattle started to relaunch the Last Word in the West Coast. And from this cocktail, I think the, the botanic community rediscovered Chartreuse, thanks to, the, um, to the, the last word. And also because it was so well balanced, beautiful cocktail between the lime juice, green Chartreuse gin and uh, maraschino, equal pot chicken served into a cook. Uh, for most of the bartenders, it was a way of discovering how they can use in a different way and be creative using Chartreuse in different directions. So they start to use Variation of last word, final word, ultima palabra, uh, and many, many others. So they start to use the complexity and the beautiful strand and the color of Chartreuse in making new things. Beautiful way of uh, enjoying Chartreuse is uh, chilled in the sniff the glasses, especially the green Chartreuse on the rocks. I'm so happy to be in the US, I'm happy to be in Detroit, and so happy to be in Chartreuse Kitchen. So let's have a good night.